Hey there movie fans, uh, this time I'm going to take a look at my movie box collection. Uh, this was requested by somebody, but I forgot who it was. Um, I, my apology for, for whoever it was, of course. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at what I have. Uh, we start off with these two vaults books. Uh, this is the, uh, the DC vault, which is still sealed as you can see still need to uh, unwrap it but this is one of those uh, you know museum in a book uh, type of things which i absolutely love and um, this is about the history of uh, dc comics and let me show you what it has at the back here got all these you know very nice small things inside the book and there's also a poster there of um, i believe all the characters of the dc comic world oh, very very cool and then the next one is the marvel vault this is open by the way let me show the back of this one here it is a lot of great little things there i absolutely love these kind of books okay put it in now the next one is the uh, graphic novel by Frank Miller and uh, Lynn Farley 300 and this is of course the basis for the movie 300 this is the uh, the art of uh, the film which basically kind of has the same uh, cover as the uh, graphic novel one uh, this is the Stanley Kubrick archive now this is a much smaller version than the um, the one that was released before this which uh, was you know, a, a lot more bigger, and um, I thought I think this is even you know big enough. But the other one was a lot bigger. It was also a DVD in the other one. But um, yeah, I'm still I'm still happy with this one. This is a beautiful, beautiful set. Uh, this is the complete making of Indiana Jones, which uh, you know the definitive story behind all four films. I absolutely love this book. This is a wonderful, wonderful book. And this is uh, Prometheus, the art of the film. A foreword by Ridley Scott. Let me show you what the, some of the artwork on that. Looks very nice. And the next one is um, well, a Dutch book. It's called 100 Most, most Beautiful Films in History. Uh, you can see on which couple of films it uh, talks about, you know, Gone with the Wind, Titanic, uh, Once Upon a Time in the West. I found this at a um, flea market once, it was very cheap, not in good condition, there's a little tear here as you can see, but still, you know, it's a very beautiful book. Uh, let me take this on one out, this is um, a special Empire magazine about the greatest sci-fi movies ever uh, this I believe this came out in in the late 90s not really sure when this one came out and this is also part of the um, Empire magazine but this is about the greatest horror movies ever and this is another Empire magazine uh, special magazine the uh, director's collection about Steven Spielberg as you can see here this is a book by Fellini. Uh, I bought this at the I Film Festival, uh, I Film Museum. I'm sorry about that. When they had the um, uh, exhibition going on on Fellini, and this is uh, another book by Stanley Kubrick. Also bought this at the I Film Museum in Amsterdam when they had the um, exhibition on Kubrick. Uh, this is um, you know the legendary interview book. Uh, by Francois Truffaut with the, which he had with Hitchcock great great book uh, Too Much Horror Business the Kirk Hammett collection I did a video on that one uh, I will leave a link to that video below so if you want to see what this uh, book, movie, book looks like then uh, go check it out A Pictorial History of Horror Films this is a wonderful book by the way really about the uh, the history of um, horror films. And I absolutely love the artwork on this uh, on this book. 
You got King Kong there, Godzilla, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, Raquel Wells in um, One Million, uh, what is it, One Million BC. That's um, um, Lon Chaney Jr. as uh, Frankenstein's monster. Oh, great, great book. There's another book on horror films. The movie Treasury Horror Films. Uh, Christopher Lee as Frankenstein. And this one is World of Science Fiction by Forrest J. Ackerman, who is the uh, the founder of the um, famous Monsters of Film Ma Land magazines. And this is a, a wonderful book as well. Absolutely great. And this is um, a wonderful uh, book on Ray Harryhausen, an animated life. Fantastic. Now here we have you know, quite a large and heavy set, The Ultimate Watchman. This is the, uh, you know, the legendary um, um, graphic novel series by Alan Moore. Uh, absolutely fantastic set, this one. Okay, let's continue on here. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Italy, The Westerns of Sergio Leone by Christopher Frayling. Christopher Frayling is really the the best expert on, on spaghetti westerns. He wrote these incredible books. He also did audio commentaries on you know a few of these uh, spaghetti westerns, Leone westerns. And he also wrote this book, Spaghetti Westerns, Cowboys and Europeans from Colmay to Sergio Leone. These are absolutely worth it. Great books. This is the Alien Vault, which is you know like the uh, DC and Marvel ones. This is a uh, a museum inside a book. Got these um, odd cards and uh, posters and all that. Very very nice. And I also have the um, Terminator Vault, which I showed. In full detail, or not exactly in full detail, but I showed a, more, a lot more of it on on the uh, on a video that I did on my um, uh, Terminator collection. Now these are um, Dutch books, basically about this is Hollywood in the you know, the thirties uh, all the way to the nineteen seventies. You know, nice little books there. Which kind of covers, you know, each period, the sixties, the seventies, and all that. Uh, these are film posters uh, books, which basically shows you, um, you know, the artwork of, of movie posters. This is uh, about the horror films: The Hunts Back, Notre Dame. Ooh, was that a nipple? <laughs> no, no, not yet, not yet. Almost a nipple. This is great, great stuff. And kind of a holocaust. And I also have one of science fiction. Let's show you that quickly here. When worlds collide. Star Wars, of course, Spider-Man. That's an unusual uh, Robocop poster. Hungarian. Uh -huh. Very cool magazine is this one. Uh, this is, um, well, basically kind of like how they made uh, special effects in movies. It's a nice book, this one. Uh, this is about the history of science fiction. Um, got this very cheap. And also, this is about the history of comic books, as you can see. Then here we have a, a series of um, um, making of books. You have uh, Man in Black, Judge Dredd, uh, 1941. This is uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Titanic, Batman, saw by the glad by the way, uh, E.T., 
This one is uh, Beauty and the Beast, the Disney classic. Amsterdam, which is the, uh, the Dutch classic. And then here we have The Art of the Matrix, which is absolutely fantastic. And here we have Gladiator. And this is um, the films of Sam Peckinpah, which is a pretty good book, I have to say. Uh, this book is about uh, Steve McQueen, of course, one of my favorite actors. Absolutely love McQueen. And this is another favorite book of mine. Um, Conversation with Wilder. Cameron Crowe, who's uh, the director of Jerry Maguire, for example, um, had an interview with uh, Billy Wilder. And uh, I mean, if, you, if you're a serious film fan, that this is, you know, like, the book yet that you have to get this one and also the uh, Francois Hitchcock book you know these are just must have absolutely okay the next one is uh, Charlie Chaplin complete uh, I bought this originally and uh, I still need to read it looks very very good this book then you have these smaller books movie icons uh, this one is on McQueen and this one is uh, about uh, Orson Welles and then we have this absolutely beautiful large book, um, uh, David Cronenberg Evolution. I bought this at the Iron Film Museum, and they had the um, you know um, exhib exhibition going on on Cronenberg, and I'm still working on that video. Um, you know, it, it was a lot more work than I thought it was, but I'm still working on it, and I hope to. Uh, um, Upload it as soon as I can. Um, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. There's a lot of great stuff at the exhibition, uh, like the telepod from the fly, for example, and, and a lot of you know strange uh, creatures from you know a lot of great props from the films. Uh, I can't wait to show it to you. But this is a fantastic book, absolutely. Um, yeah, these are a series of um, books about uh, directors. Here we have uh, Michelangelo Antonioni, which I absolutely adore. Uh, Truffaut, Hitchcock, Roman Polanski, and Paul Verhoeven. And talking of Paul Verhoeven, this is uh, the book. Uh, it's called According to Verhoeven, where he gives his um, opinions on several uh, films and uh, he's quite honest by the way and this is the uh, follow-up more Verhoeven basically the same one as the other one uh, where he discusses other films he can also be very critical at times you know and this is the um, autobiog autobiography of uh, Paul Verhoeven uh, still need to read that um, film Noir, I got this from uh, Neil, aka uh, Silver Screen 62. Uh, wonderful book, I absolutely love Film Noir. Thanks again for Neil for giving me this, I absolutely appreciate this. This is um, H.R. Giger, you know, passed away last year, which is quite unfortunate. He is uh, best known as the, um, you know, the, the uh, designer of the Xenomorph of the Alien movies. Here he is. Absolutely love his style, you know. He just had a, a fantastic, you know, a strange, bizarre style. This is quite possibly my favorite movie book, I have to say. Guillermo del Toro, Cabinet of Curiosities. This is such an amazing piece of work. And I, I want, I want to show you something inside this book. Because this is absolutely unbelievable. It yeah, is some pictures of of the collection that he has he basically has um, two houses one for his for him and his family and the other one for his stuff and his stuff is absolutely amazing you can see some of the uh, the collections there let me show you oh here this is uh one of the, you know, it's a picture of, of uh, the house, or, or what was it called again? Bleak House, 
that's what he called it. That's what he called his uh, his collection house, and it is incredible, absolutely incredible. I'm trying to find a much more better look on it. Here's another look. And here it is, Bleak House. I mean, just look at this. Got the creature from a Hellboy. It is incredible. This is, you know, this has to be the ultimate movie collection I have ever seen, really. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot the, uh, forgot the page there. And this is a statue, by the way. This is not a person, but a statue, but it's so real. It's a statue of um, H.P. Lovecraft, you know, the famous horror author. And here's some stuff. Uh, here's another statue of um, Jack Pierce, I believe. I believe it was Jack Pierce, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, Jack Pierce, makeup artist. And uh, Boris Karloff getting into the makeup of um, Frankenstein, as you can see that. Absolutely beautiful. Got that big gun by Hellboy. That is the um, uh, Oliver Reed's uh, uh, werewolf from uh, The Curse of the Werewolf. Now these are sculptures that uh, Del Toro had made or not he he let it made by somebody somebody made it for him of course is one of those uh, characters from the uh, freaks one of the greatest horror films of all time i mean this this collection is just insane i would love to uh, walk around and <laughs> see see the whole thing from my own eyes and then of course it kind of talks about the films that he did Kronos, and uh, there he is with one of those uh, Hellboy creatures. Yeah, it talks about Kronos and um, the Devil's Backbone. There's some artwork that he has created on Kronos. This is the Devil's Backbone, as you can see. This is from a Hellboy 2. Sorry if I move a little too quickly on it, but uh, I just wanted to show you this uh, this amazing book. I mean, you definitely go get this book if you're a fan of um, Del Toro. Pan's Labyrinth. You can see there. And it also talks about the films that he uh, never had the chance to make, like um, um, let me show you which ones it was. Oh, Pacific Rim, of course, talks about that one as well. Here it is, unfinished projects. Mephisto's Bridge, for example, but the list of seven looks very good. I really hope that he gets a chance to, uh, well, this is the one I was talking about, At the Mountains of Madness. He wanted to make this film um, for a long time. Still, he still wants to make it. I, I really hope that he, that he will give him the chance to... Uh, finally made this uh, this film but um yeah this is such an amazing book Guillermo del Toro go get this if you uh if you can okay now let's take a look at the books that I have on Star Wars this is um the um ah, hang on the Star Wars vault this is absolutely magnificent Look at what it all has, all these great goodies inside. It also comes with uh, two DVDs there. Absolutely brilliant, I love this. 
and I cannot wait for uh, for the new movie to come out. I've seen the trailer about 40, 50 times, and I, I still can't get not get enough of it. I'm sure it's going to be a, a great film. Um, I have faith in J.J. Abrams, absolutely. This is about um, the making of episode one, or illustrated, oh, wait a minute, illustrated screenplay, that's it, by George Lucas. Here we have a um, magazine on Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. And this is the art of Attack of the Clones. And here we have the art of um, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, a New Hope, the original one, the original Star Wars. Um, the Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi. This is the complete Star Wars Encyclopedia. This is uh, quite a large set, uh, which yeah, it's absolutely great. I absolutely love this. Great, great set. And then we have a few uh, Lord of the Rings books. And uh, here we have, um, you know, uh, just about the, f the first one. And then uh, about the two towers. I still need to get the, uh, the one of um, uh, Return of the King. And then we have this wonderful uh, set with The Hobbit and the um, um, Lord of the Rings trilogy by uh, Tolkien. Uh, really large and beautiful set, this one. And finally, we have these uh, smaller books. Now, these are basically uh, screenplays, and some of them are written by Quentin Tarantino, as you can see. I mean, reading his screenplays is as much fun as watching his movies, if you ask me. Uh, he's a great, great screenwriter. And then underneath there are two autobiographies. One is by Steven Spielberg, and the other one by Rutger Hauer, as you can see there. And then over here, I got a lot of uh, Empire magazines, as you can see. I don't have all of them, by the way. I'm not really sure if I want to get all of them, but uh, they have these really cool covers, by the way, like this one. This is, uh, you know, the world's first fully 3D cover of uh, the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, I believe this was. Looks absolutely fantastic. But yeah, that's it for my movie books collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.